Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I wanted to bring you a I wanted to bring you a review of Vanilla Cloud. This is a three wick candle from Bath and Body Works, from one of their spring collections. I'm not positive which one exactly. So I'm a little over halfway through this candle, and I do like Vanilla Cloud. I have it a lot of it in the hand soap, and I've really enjoyed it in the past. The notes are airy freesia, vanilla cream, blonde woods with natural essential oils. This candle was made on the 46th day of 2024. I have noticed that from this batch of candles from this line, they burn hot and fast. I have only burned this maybe three times before and it's going pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well right there, but there is some soot going on and no matter what I've done, the flames are pretty tall. Scent throw wise, the first time I burned this, I did not get very much throw. Right now, this is, like I said, the third or fourth burn and the throw is probably maybe a five, four or five for throw and projection. It's not huge. It's in my office, definitely comes out a little bit but not as much as I was hoping for the scent itself I like it I'm getting a lot of the vanilla a little bit of the woods and a little bit of the freesia but there's a lot of the vanilla cream going on for me um, so I am enjoying that I am a gourmand lover that's why I pick stuff that has like a vanilla mix to it because otherwise I do find that florals or woodsy notes do get a little bit too heavy for me at least in my personal opinion but I've been burning this probably almost about four hours and I'm getting ready to put it out. But I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on this one, how it was doing, stuff I noticed. When I first did burn this candle, the flames were so tall, they were scaring me a little bit. Even now, um, they're a little bit on the tall side. Let's see if I can do this. And I have not had any issues with uh, you can kind of see the reflection of them. I have not had any issues with this in the past with the high flames. Um, this is kind of new to me, so I do make sure I'm in the office paying attention to this candle in case something were to happen. Um, other than that, I really can't complain. I do have a backup of this candle from the same collection. I don't, again, I don't mind having it. <clears throat> and I'm sorry if my allergies if you can hear them, but I'm hoping if they do bring this out again, maybe next year, that there's been an improvement on it and the wicks aren't like crazy high flames. Otherwise, I can't complain too much about this candle. I do like it and that's why I bought a backup for it because I know that it's probably going to go away after this or at least after it's semi-annual sale. I don't off the top of my head know of anything else that is kind of like this scent except for there are like a few scentsy waxes like the birchwood one and frosted vanilla that are similar in both notes and scent. I would recommend this if you like gourmand or if you like woodsy you might actually enjoy the mixture. If you are someone who's like mainly fruity or fresh I would not say this is the way to go. But I hope that you are enjoying this video and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!